Okay, next up is going to be Redemption, um, a little bit of space adventure, the last Enclave, book number two, written by Morgan Cole. It is 341 pages, $4.99. It's available on Kindle Unlimited, and here's the author's description. Hordes of alien monsters are breeding on Pluto. The shield protecting soul is failing. Can Jake save Earth from infestation and annihilation? After his triumph on Pax, Jake returns home to Earth. In far northern Canada, his grandfather hit an outpost that may have the solution. The town sheriff thinks he's an imposter. Unnamed government agencies would love to vivisect him, and powerful forces lurk in the shadows. Even with his grandfather's powerful legacy, will Jake have what it takes to stop the threat to Earth? So there we go. Um, this is the second book in this particular series. And it's for a while, this is a light little bit of story. Even book one was a little light on the game mechanics. Um, but this second book in the series is even lighter than that. There's a, uh, I'm going to say there's a lot of direct progression. The book one had like book one had a lot of upgrading, um, a lot of kind of crafting from like a, a, a future scientific perspective, like grabbing resources and rebuilding a space station or a space uh, outpost and a green technology and suits and, and getting levels to fight monsters like uh, nanotech monsters um, in book one. And so there were, there were, there definitely was kind of this gamified progression system there. And while those same mechanics exist in book number two, they're not really a focus that there really isn't a lot of book. And there's a tiny bit, there's a tiny bit of like crafting towards the end um, but that, that, that entire section of like the progression mechanics really takes a back seat to like the sci-fi buddy adventure story here. Um, and for me, that definitely dragged, that definitely lessened my enjoyment. Not to the point where I didn't like the story it still gets a good score for me. Um, but it wasn't because necessarily of the RPG mechanics or the, even the RPG progression system. That was the, that was a bigger part of book number one in the series. Um, so if you want if you like Book Number because of those reasons specifically, Book Two might not satisfy you in that respect. Um, it might satisfy you in other respects, though. Um, the story in this novel um, starts off with a good sci-fi space battle um, and and a good fight. Um, but from the about the fifty percent on for the majority of the story, it actually shifts um, from like the space sci-fi stuff to more of a, a buddy adventure on earth. And for me, I actually think that was a good story choice from the author. Um, it was a kind of a great turn cause the, I didn't mind the, the big space battles, but for me, it felt so removed. Um, mostly because I've, I've read so many stories since, since I've read this, um, that I kind of forgot like, Oh, what was like the point of it all? I just remember it. Oh, I, I enjoy the story. Um, and once the main character returned to earth and kind of reconnected with like the reasons for him wanting to save earth, um, it, it, it became grounded. It became much more relatable to me. It's one thing to kind of have this vague desire to save earth. Um, but the author really gave the main character a reason um, to save the people on earth and people in his lives, whether it's what, whether they were jerks to him or not on earth. Um, and, and, and it made the sci-fi space opera stuff a little more relatable for me, at least because it's, it's grounded in like, these are actual people with backstories and, and, and connections. Um, and I, I like the fact that it's reconnecting back to the earth story instead of just like going further and further out into space necessarily. Um, the sci-fi space software stuff again, in the story is a little more prominent at the beginning and end of the novel. Um, with alien battles, space battles, and sh alien ships and, and shooting and stuff. Um, and again, a smaller amount of crafting and RPG progression. Um, so overall, good entertaining story. But again, it does lose for me um, some of the RPG progression, which I thought was unfortunate, but it, it is just a story choice. Um, so for me, it could score 7.4 out of 10. Book one, I believe we got like a 7.8, 7.9 or something along those lines. Um, and this one just loses a little bit just because again, Black of the thing that I enjoy the most about Little Bitty, which is the RPG progression stuff. Um, so that's 7.4 out of 10 from Redemption, a Little Bitty Space Adventure, the last Enclave, book number two. Still a good story. Um, so go go check it out if you enjoyed book number one.